Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. In this video, we are going to focus on the second subtopic for chapter 3 which is the differentiation of logarithmic function. So if you recall, we have two types of logarithmic function. The first one is common log and usually we use log base 10. So for example, it's log x base 10. The second one is natural log. So what is natural log? Natural log is log with base e and usually we don't use the notation log base e. We are going to use ln x. Okay, ln is actually log base e. So here we are going to use chain rule to differentiate f x is equal to ln u x and then we are going to also differentiate the combinations of exponential and logarithmic function. So I'm going to start with Looking at the simplest form of natural log, which is a logarithmic function. So let's say if you have y is equal to ln of x, how do we differentiate this? So we are going to differentiate both sides with respect to x and hence we are going to get d by dx of y is equal to d by dx ln x. Okay, so for our left hand side, we are going to get dy dx and how do we differentiate the right hand side? We are going to get two brackets where the first brackets will be filled with 1 over whatever inside the log and that is x. And then for the second bracket is we are going to differentiate with respect to x because originally we are going to differentiate with respect to x. And the thing that we are going to differentiate is still whatever inside the log. Okay, so here it's x and then you are going to get dy dx is actually equals to 1 over x multiplied by the derivative of x with respect to x that is 1 and hence we get dy dx is equal to 1 over x. However, please take note that this differentiation, this derivative only valid for when you are given y is equal to ln x and x must be a positive number or x must be something that is positive. So then once you differentiate, this is your derivative. Now let's take a look what if you have in the second form which is y is equal to ln of f of x. So in this case, if you want to differentiate, we are going to use chain rule because then it's easier for you to understand. And by using chain rule, please recall our formula will be dy dx is equal to dy du multiplied by du dx. So in this case, we need to introduce another variable which is u. And I'm going to choose let u is equal to f of x, whatever inside the ln. And then I can just rewrite my y as y is equal to ln of u. And then we can differentiate these two. But I'm going to differentiate u with respect to x and that will give me f prime of x. And then differentiating y with respect to u will give me 1 over u. Same as previously but just now we are differentiating with respect to x but now with respect to u. And putting into the formula for chain rule here, I need to put in dy by du multiplied by du by dx. And then that will give me dy x is actually equals to 1 over u multiplied by f prime of x. And again, you cannot leave u here as it is. You need to change it back into, oh sorry, you need to change it back into f of x. So here I will have, oh sorry, 1 over f of x multiplied by f prime of x. Or we can also rewrite this as dy by dx is actually equal to f prime of x over f of x. Okay. There is also an alternative for questions involving logarithmic function in the form of y equals to ln f of x. In which we can use the previous method I have shown you. We are going to use two brackets. The first one is 1 over whatever inside. And then we are going to differentiate whatever inside the logarithmic function. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use the alternative. Let's say we have y is equal to ln of f of x. And by using the two brackets method, 
I can just immediately write dy by dx is actually equals to two brackets. And the first bracket is 1 over whatever inside, which is fx. So 1 over fx. And then the second bracket will be differentiating fx with respect to x. And that will give me 1 over fx multiplied by f prime of x. And hence, I can rewrite that as f prime of x over f of 